So here we're going to look at a different type of topic. It's the second last kind of topic in sequences and series. It's a different type of sequence than the arithmetic and the geometric ones we've looked at before. Um, but yeah, you need to know it for the exam. So one thing, here's the formula. So it's T of N is equal to A N squared plus B N plus C. So N squared and N are going to stay as N and then A, B and C are going to be numbers. So depending on A, B and C, the sequence is going to change. So there's one thing, this formula is not in tables book. So it's not in the tables book. So you have to learn this off. Not in the tables book. Um, but it shouldn't be too hard to learn off because it looks really like a quadratic equation because it's basically the same thing. So anyway, how do we spot a quadratic sequence? Probably the first question we need to know. So for example, I'll write a quadratic sequence out here. If we have 7, 17, 31, 49, and then 71 as our sequence, and I can keep going. How are we going to spot? So the first thing we're probably going to try is we're going to go through it in order. We're going to say, is it arithmetic? Is it geometric? Um, so first thing I'll look at is, is it arithmetic? So we're going to look at the difference between each number. And if it's a constant difference, that means it's arithmetic. Yeah. So the difference is going to be 10 here. So 7 plus 10 is 17. 17 plus 14 will give us 31. 31 to 49 is going to be plus 18. And it's 22, the difference between 49 and 71. Okay, so we can see that it's not a constant different difference, sorry, so not a constant difference. So I'll say diff. This means it's not arithmetic. Okay, so it's not arithmetic. We're gonna have to try the next thing. So next thing you're probably gonna think, okay, maybe it's geometric then if it's not arithmetic. So let's scroll down a little bit, give us some space. Okay, so if t of n divided by t of n minus one is equal to a constant then this means that it's geometric. Yeah, so we'll test this. So I'm going to say t of two divided by t of one, that's 17 divided by seven, and that's equal to about 2.42. And I'm going to try t of three divided by t of two, that's going to be 31 divided by 17. This is equal to the same thing, then it means it's a geometric sequence. So pop that into your calculator, you'll find it's equal to about 1.82. And since they're not the same, that means it's not geometric, yeah? Because not geometric, this isn't true, because t of n over t of n minus one isn't a constant, there's no constant ratio. So now what are we gonna do? Now you'll probably turn to thinking, okay, maybe it's quadratic then. So the way you tell if something is quadratic is not that you look at the, what is called the first difference, so I'll write that there. This is the first first difference, kind of messy there, okay? So the first line is called the first difference. You have to look at what's called the second difference, okay? So the second diff, it's gonna be the difference between each of these numbers. So again, I'm gonna draw these kind of rainbow things in between them. So the difference between 10 and 14 is gonna be four. The difference between 14 and 18 is also gonna be four, and 18 and 22 is going to be four. So it's by how much the first difference gets bigger each time. So this goes 10, then 14, then 18, then 22. And there's a difference of four between each of these. So look, we say if the second difference is a non-zero constant, is a non-zero constant. So basically, as long as it's a number, um, that stays the same each time. It can be plus, it can be minus, it can be a decimal if you want, but it has to be non-zero and it has to be constant, it can't change. Then this means we have a quadratic sequence in our hands. Quadratic sequence, okay? Non-zero, and that, that's a rule you need to learn. Uh, one other thing you need to learn about quadratic sequences and the second difference. So, oh, sorry, I'll go, go on that in a second, but so the next thing we need to know uh, after we find out if it's a quadratic sequence or not, we wanna find the formula for it, yeah? So it's gonna be in the form t of n is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. The easiest thing here is you need to know this little trick to start it off. So I'll go in red. So the second difference, second diff is equal to two a. Okay, so that's a rule you need to know. Uh, it's not in the tables book either. And once you do that, the rest of it should be okay. But you do need to know that trick to start you off. So the second difference is equal to two a. And that a is the same a as this one up here. So that means you can get the first one, A, and then you just need to find B and C after that. So 
in our case, if 2a is the second difference, and the second difference here we see is 4, so go down here. So we're going to say then that 2a is equal to 4. That's, that's going to mean that a is equal to 2. Okay, so now we have that first thing started. I can say t of n is equal to 2n squared plus bn plus c. So that's our general form so far. And now we just need to find b and c. Is that okay so far? So how are we going to do that? What we're going to do, it's similar enough to what we've done in the other ones as well. We're going to call this t1 and call this t2. And we can use these two to solve for b and c. So t1 is 17, or t1 is 7, and t2 is 17. So I'll go down here. So t1 is equal to 7, and also t1 is going to be 2 by 1 squared. So we're going to put 1 in whatever there was an n, plus b by 1 plus c. So that means we're going to have 2 plus b plus c is equal to 7, or b plus c is equal to 5. Box around that, that's our first one. And now we're going to look at t2. So if you remember that t2 was equal to 17, so t2 is equal to 17, and also t2 is going to be 2 by 2 squared plus b by 2 plus c. So that means we're going to have 2 by 4 plus 2b plus c is equal to 17. That's going to be 2b plus c is equal to 17 minus 8, and 2b plus c is equal to 11. Box around that. Okay, so now we have two equations with b and c, so we can use simultaneous equations to solve these. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to write uh, this over here. I'm going to write 2b plus c is equal to 11, and I'm going to multiply everything in this line here, the b plus c equal to 5, by minus 1. So if we multiply everything by minus 1, we're going to get minus b minus c is equal to minus 5. So we do simultaneous equations here, we're going to add the two lines. So the plus c and the minus c will cancel. The 2b and minus b will just give us b, and then 11 minus 5 will give us 6. So that's our answer there, that b is equal to 6. And then we need to find what C is. That should be fine. So I'm going to say B plus C is equal to 5. That means 6 plus C is equal to 5. And bring the 6 over, we'll get C is equal to minus 1. Because it'll be 5 minus 6. So now we have A is equal to 2, B is equal to 6, and C is equal to minus 1. So we can finish our question. It's going to be T of N is equal to 2N squared plus 6n minus 1, and that's our final answer um, for quadratic sequences. So that's about all you need to know for quadratic sequences. You need to know this formula here, that's not in the tables book. You need to know that the second difference is a non-zero constant for quadratics. You need to know that the second difference is equal to 2a, and then just how to get the rest, the b and the c. Um, yeah, and then we're going to look at more quadratic sequences in picture form uh, in a few videos time. That's what they like asking, but uh, that's enough for quadratic sequences. We'll see you next time. We're gonna look quickly just at cubic sequences.